if there's one thing that I have to say is, is just do it. Like, I know it sounds simple and cliche, but like, if you can dream something, you can do it. And right now it's like, I just yanked a motor out and I'm trying to put a diesel in a gas vehicle. It's going to be tough, but I just kind of look at like, you know, down the road in a month or two when this thing is just cruising and there's just a smile on my face, the size of Texas, like it's going to be worth it. So, um, anybody getting into it, just enjoy the process. Like it's not a lot of fun right now, but in two months or whatever, however long it takes, it's, it's going to be worthwhile and, and I'm just going to be cheesing. So figured I'd share that with you guys. Life on limiter, baby. There it come. That's smoky. It's good stuff. Well guys, it's finally time. I present to you my LBZ T56 drift truck. I don't know if you guys understand just how excited I am for this truck and to be coming out of the garage in a third gear burnout uh, just ripping them uh, it's it's just something wild so um, been working on this truck for a couple months now doing the swap uh, everything went pretty good and the truck is better than expected now this truck isn't like a hundred percent uh, it's probably more like 90, 95%. I still have some things that need to be done, but it rips and it is so much fun. And it's got a rev limiter because life on limiter, obviously, um, we do it upright. So there's not a whole ton to go over with this thing, but uh, I'm just going to run through everything that I did and take you guys along. So check it out. Interior, easy a auto wheel money um a few things i need to do i need to put this stereo back in it all works and stuff in there i just got to put it back also my boy mike d uh got me right with this uh cluster it's a lbz cluster i had a gas job cluster in here and now it's got the leds all the good stuff uh this truck is just so fun it has so much torque like you would expect, but it's so smooth. So, uh, yeah, I put a cup holder here. This is where the hole was for the stock trans. I actually put a metal plate over it and then rubber and then this guy. So it's nice and solid in there. Um, this is my hydraulic e-brake. I've had this in here, you know, the whole time and it was a little short. So I extended it with this guy. My dad actually put this handle in the fire. So it's actually a little bent but uh it still works uh, i can't have it too high because it'll hit this steering wheel so uh it's pretty good right there uh t56 with the tick short throw shifter uh this is a pretty long shifter but uh it feels pretty crisp now the transmission i bought i bought used off of uh marketplace and it grinds into second gear so it's kind of a piss off but it is what it is it's still does all the things that it needs to. And I think I'm gonna be launching in second gear most of the time anyways. 
So for now, we're gonna leave it in there and see if it breaks something else first. Um, but yeah, other than that, inside here, it's all just a stock work truck. Now let's pop the hood here. Oh yeah. Got a nice little hood stack going on. Let's see here. So, uh, pretty much just a stock LBZ in here, uh, 140,000 miles, uh, a few things that I had to do, Hydra Boost from a Duramax, uh, Duramax fuse box, two batteries, so you got one over here, one over here, um, you got your hood dump exhaust, of course. Quart support is all 2500, it's got the 2500 radiator, intercooler, quart support, and yeah, she's looking pretty fresh. Uh, exterior wise, I ended up going with fender flares all the way around. This is a 20 by 10 wheel, um, 245 50 in the rear, 255 45 in the front. Um, oh yeah, fast lift pump sitting down there, nice and pretty. I did paint match the rear bumper. I did the tail lights recently. Um, but yeah, she's looking pretty fresh. I'm just overwhelmed with excitement for this truck. I've uh, been ripping it here and there. It uh, it doesn't like to hook fourth gear, so if that tells you anything, it's pretty good. So it's got a stock 10 bolt in the rear. Um, it's gonna break if I push it too hard. So I did buy a 12 bolt. The truck has 342s. We're going to a 323, nine and a half, big boy. This is basically the same as like a 99 to 06, 14 bolt. It's just got 12 bolts on the cover. Nine and a half, same thing. Uh, 323 gear though, so uh, we'll see how that goes. I wanted to do a 308 gear, but I couldn't find one, and I found this one locally. So I'm gonna toss that in there and see how that ratio is. I do wanna throw a little bit bigger tire on here, and probably some 20 by 12s. Um, but other than that, I just want to drive this thing it's so good and you might be wondering why i loaded up the 450. well we're heading to thursday night motocross tonight so i loaded up the bike and we're gonna head down there and i'm actually gonna uh, do some in-car footage for you guys just shifting and and whatnot and you know rolling some coal and all the things i do gotta get some stuff ready uh on my riding gear and jump in the truck and let's roll and first up got to pick up the nephew he'll be in the 85 class so we got a 450 and a 85 say hi Hello. that's cruz uh we're on our way this thing is super super duper low probably about two inches off the ground i need bigger tires but i want to roast these tires off before uh i get new tires so
doggone it. I crashed and my clutch cable broke. I crashed on my last lap. I think my throttle was a little too sensitive and when I went all the way back towards the end, I crashed. stuck again on my second uh, moto uh, hung in there for fourth place just kind of took it easy it was a good time it was nice to stretch the legs get some arm pump uh, but yeah back to the truck all right it is the next day after there's a night motocross and we are heading to my brother's house to fry off a set of tires uh, he's got a little pad a uh, concrete pad we're gonna go kind of drift around uh, try to get some burnies Try to get some good footage for you guys. So, uh, Braden's coming with. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head over there. Man, it is a hot one today. I think it's supposed to be like 86 degrees. Hottest day of the year for sure. Yeah. This truck still is on the factory 10 bolt and it's uh, it's welded so it'll probably blow up before long I mean it's already in here so might as well use it get some usage out of it uh, yeah so maybe some third fourth gear burnouts coming up hopefully it hangs in there Third gear? Yeah. Third gear, okay. Do you want to see a lot of smoke? Yeah. All right, hopefully it doesn't blow up. You want to see a big burnout? Yeah. All right. You did Let's do it. anything's leaking. That's good. Ah, the smell of smoke. It's been a while. Still just chooching. <laughs> ah, that felt good. That felt good. Ray didn't want to go for a ride inside, so... Yeah, that worked out, third gear. This thing's a ripper.
a little bit. That's so slow. <laughs> oh man. This thing just lays them. Tires are almost cooked. She good. She good. What do you think, Brayden? Breaking good, bro. That was fun. Well, folks, there you have it. LBZ T56 drift truck gets down. Uh, this is definitely you know, my style of video. This is the kind of video that I like to do because for me, this video was a ton of fun to make. And, you know, a couple months of building this truck in the garage, uh, it was a lot of work. And I wasn't sure if everything was gonna work, you know, because nobody's ever done it um, until now. So uh, this truck is freaking rowdy. So I'm really excited. Uh, that rev limiter is nasty. Uh, it's making some power. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of plans for this thing. We're gonna throw it on the dyno. We're gonna put nitrous on it. We're going to drift it. We're gonna do quarter mile drags with it. We're gonna throw some slicks on there. We got a lot of big plans. So uh, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. This is definitely a, a build that you won't see pretty much anywhere else. And that's what I like to do. So with that being said, subscribe to the channel and we will catch you on the next one.